Alright guys, I hope that you are having a great day today. Once again, I just want to commend you on your work. I am so proud of you all. I'm glad that you all are turning stuff in. And one more time, just a big thank you from me. So today, I'm going to be showing you how to access flat.io and how to use it. So, whenever you log in, this is the page that you should be at. What we're going to do is create a new score because we are going to be working on a composition. Our composition is going to be comprised of a nursery rhyme and you all composing rhythms below that. So first, let me show you how it works. You're going to go to create new score or tab. You're going to name your score. You're going to name it your last name and then composition one. So your last name, that's my last name right there, and composition one. You're gonna press continue. The instrument I want you to select, the instrument you're gonna go with is the violin. So you're gonna hit create. So now, this is what you will see. We are going to be writing the notes in to Mary Had a Little Lamb. My first step is to go ahead and click on quarter note. Luckily, it's already highlighted for me. So yesterday we learned about quarter notes. A quarter note gets, that's right, one beat. If we take a look here, we have a time signature. Remember that I said that the top number, what does the top number do? That tells you how many beats are in a measure. So as we see here, it's one, two, three, four, and the quarter note gets the beat. All you are going to do is watch this video and copy exactly what I do so that you can start learning how this program works. So our first note is going to go on this first line down below. So the, the lowest line you can go to. So it's going to write it for you once you click it. All I did was click it. I'm going to go right here. I'm going to go one below that line. Now I'm going to go and add. If you see I'm on this line, if I just move it down, I create this line. So, hmm. Now I'm going to add another one, and now we're going to do this. Right here we're back to the bottom line. I'm going to change the value of the note for this one. I'm going to change it from a quarter note to a half note. I'm going to put it on that bottom line once again. And then, here we go again, back to quarter, gonna go below the line. So that was quarter note, now I'm switching back to half note. Back to quarter, we're on that last line, last bottom line. Now you're going to go the second line I'm going to change the rhythm one more time. So I have it. I'm sorry. I'm going to change the duration one more time. Making it a half note. And then I'm going to show you another trick. So what I need to write is the same as this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the shift key, the shift key on your computer. I'm going to click this note right here and this note. It's going to highlight the whole thing right there. So I'm teaching you how to copy and paste. You're going to hit control C on your keyboard. You're going to go down here and click on where it says five right here. 
Remember, this is a half wrist because it looks like a hat. I'm going to control V and that adds two measures. So I just taught you how to copy and paste. Now the rest of my work I need to write out. So here we are. Here's the bottom line. We're going to go right underneath. You're going to go to the bottom line. Then you're going to go underneath that line. Then we're going to switch this one. We're going to switch it to a whole note. And I want you to go, here's the bottom line, here's right below the bottom, and then it creates a line right there. Mm. Now, before you're done with that, I want you to select this mm. one, this whole note. I want you to hold down shift. And then I want you to select your first note right here. Make sense? Control C and Control V. So we should have 16 measures. It shows 17 right here. Should have 16 measures of music now. So I just showed you how to input the music. Let's listen to it and see how it sounds. So it should sound familiar to us. And if you want, if you want to hear the beat, you can click this button right here. And it's going to have the metronome playing so you can hear the beat. Alright, so that's how you input notes. I'm going to show you how to add an instrument because now it's your turn. It's your turn to compose. Mary Had a Little Lamb was composed way before both me and you were born. So now I want you all to become the composers. You're going to be creating rhythms underneath Mary Had a Little Lamb. Later on, as we progress through the music unit, we will turn Mary Had a Little Lamb into something else. But for now, so that you can hear a melody, which is something we haven't went over yet, so that you can hear a melody, which is something that gets stuck in your head, and so that you can hear rhythm against melody while you work. Alright, so... Let me get this ready for us. To add an instrument, there are two ways. You can either right click where it says violin and it's going to bring up instruments or instrument settings. What you're going to do is you're going to keep the violin. You're going to add an instrument and your instrument is going to be under percussion. Under percussion, you need to add the claves. See, it added it right there. Go back under percussion after selecting add another instrument. Your other one to add is tambourine. You just click it. Add another instrument. And your last one is the cowbell. And then you're going to select done. And now you have three instruments that are rhythm, rhythmically ready to go. So now you have three instruments that you're going to fill in with rhythm. So I'm going to give you an example just to start you out. If I were you, I would start 
one instrument at a time. I would work on four measures at a time. So for your first one, and I'm gonna I'm gonna remind you that the only notes that I want you to use are the half, the quarter, and the eighth note. So the half, the quarter, and the eighth note. What I don't want to see is this. I don't want to see the same rhythm the whole time. That is a big no. What I would like to see is you come up with different rhythms, such as that one's fine. You can even do this. Sorry, that keeps going down. So I'm trying to write these on the line. Sorry, keep switching on me. You'll find that in that program. That the more you play around with it, the better it'll get. So now, let me finish out the four. Now I may play, I may play this one one more time. So remember, I already taught you how to copy and paste. That's fine. And maybe I'll go Now, I'm just coming up with these. I, it's not like I'm reading off a sheet or nothing. I'm just coming up with them. The only thing that I know that I'm required to do is half, quarter, eighth. Nothing smaller and nothing larger. So now, if I listen back, I have created rhythm under melody. So I hope that you were able to hear that. Now when you go underneath, try not to do the same rhythms as above. Some of them can duplicate, yes. Some of them can duplicate. But again, I'm not looking for the same. I am not looking for the same. So maybe I want to do... And now, you are also allowed to include some rest some rest do not rest the whole time so if you turned in this line and it was empty that would not be a good grade but if you wanted to skip this eighth note and just play this one that would be all right and let's go with i'm gonna copy this one this time and that would be fun. Now I'm going to show you what it sounds like with two, two rhythms and the melody. Let me see if I can turn down the melody. So I'm going to turn down the violin. I hit the wrong button. Uh, maybe not. Yep, that's volume. So I'm going to turn down the violin just a little bit so we can hear more of the rhythm. So that's what we have so far. The goal is for you to do all 16 measures. If you write 17, that's too much. I won't grade past 16. So if you need any help, please inbox me. This is not something that you will just pick up on. I'm hoping that this tutorial will help you. Please let me know if it doesn't. I can remake a new one. And happy composing, guys.
Good luck.